Okay, well, we are back here at our live election coverage, and uh, it's really interesting to see, leading up to the primary, kind of the contrast of what the, the Democratic Town Committee versus the Republican Town Committee did. I can't be everywhere at all times uh, during the year that I was chairman of the Board of Selectmen. The access that I had to all of the government meetings that were being covered was really important to me. So you're Troop 702, correct? Yes, and you're yeah, going out for of your Old South. Oh, okay, great. Right um, and so you're going for your Eagle Scout this yeah, year? Yeah, I got a lot of paperwork to do, but <laughs> that's really it. I've done all the other requirements. So what so. was your project? My project was uh, we installed red reflective bands. Today, um, not everybody reads the paper, and not everybody uses social media, but almost everybody turns their TV on. And if they have an interest in finding out what's going on in our community, um, RCTV has done a spectacular job, in my opinion, of pulling the community together so that a common message can be heard. And naturally, there's always room for expansion and improvement, and I see RCTV very interested in doing that. So being able to create um, a video that is coherent and flows well is a skill that all kids need to have these days. Actually. Um, Companies are marketing their products that way. People learn that way. If you're um, in going into any kind of training, it, it will really help you to know how to put together a decent video. So who are you supposed to be today? Uh, the Unknown Phantom. The Unknown Phantom, that's a unique one. And how about you? An army man. Yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, thank you for coming on TV. Thank you, Amy. Hello. I think it's a great opportunity. It can help them do better things in life to move on from RCTV to go to straight out news, to go um, NCC sports, things like that, um, just to do better and better things to get better at what they're doing. I think our RCTV has impacted my life in a positive way. Um, it's uh, exposed me to a lot of new people who have entered my life and been a part of my life in a big way um, as an influence as and as mentors. What, what, where am I? What am I doing here? What have you done? <laughs> You made that dying coyote noise! RCTV has always been there to empower me to reach more people with the same message and to generate conversations around difficult topics. With the Martin Luther King Day event for the last three years, RCTV has videotaped it so that we could get the message out to a larger part of our community and at the end, they have been scrolling the funders for the events, and that's really important because our funders go out of their way to support our efforts, and then it's important that the community know that these local businesses have been donating, and RCTV has worked with us to make sure they're visible. RCTV has done a ton for the community and the chamber in recent months and over the past couple years. I know we've collaborated a lot. Um, you know, just sitting down and talking about how we can support our small businesses. You were very proactive in helping us make a video and volunteering your time and talent to showcase local business owners, which went viral and we got a lot of hits on. You know, it's not something a small business could typically afford to produce a high quality video that was gonna look polished in the end. So that was a great collaboration. I know that you guys were out and actually there's uh, a young man that was helping you out um, uh, reporting, George, um, and he's the paper delivery boy for, for um, the route that his route is delivers to my office. And um, so he told me about all of, you know, he was going out and talking with people and that kind of stuff and, um, and I kind of was ribbing him that he didn't get down to where I was. I think what RCTV has succeeded in doing and continues to grow um, is by bringing people together 
receiving a common message.